Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here in Cardiff. I'm, I'm assuming it's your first time in Cardiff, Miss Jessica McCaskill. Yes, first time in Cardiff. Not my first time in the UK. Fought in, um, in East London at your call. I was also here to see the Warrington fight in Leeds. So I, I get around. Yeah, well, London, Leeds, Cardiff now. You'll be fighting here in, what, I think, nine weeks' time. Um, you said up there there's a tremendous amount of respect between yourself and Lauren Price, but maybe a little bit too soon for her? I wouldn't say it's too soon. I think that even even with the loss, a fighter can, can really gain a lot from a certain matchup, and I think that this matchup is going to give her a, a boost in her career and lead her to other big fights. Have you followed Lauren's career so far, obviously coming out, the Olympics, gold medalist? I have not. I okay. had not heard of Lauren until Rick mentioned, hey, this is someone that you could fight, and obviously looked up a little bit of information, um, watched about maybe a round or, or so of, of her fight, so just to get an idea of what was what. Was what. Yeah, she said up there after her last fight that she wanted any of the champions. You were the one that accepted. Um, why? What, what, how did this fight come about? Uh, the fight came about, we, we've we always had feelers out. Rick Ramos, my manager, he's always in communication with other fighters, with promoters, with managers, and he's always looking for the best opportunity for his fighters, not just me, for, for all of his fighters. And this came across the table, and he mentioned it. You know, she wanted to get a world title. I have one of the world titles, and it just made sense. Um, throughout your career, you've never shied away from a challenge. It's, that kind of what you want to be known for, it says forging legacy out there. That's probably kind of aimed at Lauren Price, but your legacy is fighting anyone, not avoiding anybody. Right. I, I've always said yes to, to the fights. I've always looked for the biggest names. Um, nothing intimidates me. I'm, I'm ready to, to get punched. I'm ready to punch people. I mean, that's what this job is. And I just want to make the best reputation that I can for myself before I'm done. And I want to really add something to boxing before I leave. Do you think your legacy is kind of not disrespected but a little bit disregarded from what you've done as a professional? I do believe that a lot of the things that I've done are ignored or looked over um, and it could be one of those things where you don't see it until way down the road and you look back and I'm in the Hall of Fame and then those things get highlighted and I can't really focus on that right now. I have to focus on the fighting and, and training and recovery and the important parts of, of the game that are actually going to get me to the next step and all of that stuff, that'll fall in line later. Being unified, undisputed, why do you think you have been disregarded? I don't know. I feel like people love to hate me, and, and sometimes I love to hate because I can just turn that energy into something positive for myself, and I'm used to being the underdog. This is probably the first fight in a long time where I'm not considered um, the underdog. If, if anything, it's just the location that, that's not favorable for, for me, you would think, on paper. But um, I just feel like people, I don't know if it's that I don't connect or, or something, I don't know what it is, but I have my communities, I have my schools that I visit, I have you know, the, the, the outreach that I do. And so those are the things that are really important to me. What everybody else thinks is not, not so important. It's in Lauren's home of Cardiff. Is there a little bit more pressure on her in that regard as a kind of homecoming? Because it is built as her homecoming, but you are the unified champion. Yes, there's going to be a lot of pressure on her, a lot of obligations that she's going to have as a fighter. Um, she doesn't, I don't think she really realizes how much she's going to have to do for her fans because sometimes you can't say no to the fans, right? There's obligations that she's going to have to fulfill for Boxer, and it's going to weigh on her shoulders, and she's just going to have to figure out how to come through that. I know you fought at York Hall before against Katie Taylor. That was a 1,000 people in East London. This is going to be considerably more. Are you ready for the uh, Welsh cauldron that's going to be coming at you? Yes, I can't wait. I think it's going to be very exciting, and I think that they're going to start out cheering for Lauren, and then they're going to end up cheering for me. Um, <laughs> when, when the fan's over around, up then on the uh, 10th of May? Say that 11th of May or 11th. 10th of May? 11th of May, yeah. Win those Welsh fans over then, yeah? Yes, that is exact. I mean, I already have some people in my DM saying, hey, I'm Welsh, but I'm behind you 100%. So that's such a build up for me and it, it makes me feel good. At, but I'm going to steal all the fans. Your reputation comes as the pressure fighter, a little bit of a brawler. 
again, a little bit annoying because you have got boxing acumen as well? Not, not so annoying. I mean, that's how I started my career. That's the element that I surprised everyone with in the very beginning. I don't think people were used to such a aggressive force, and, and that's how I took a lot of what I've earned. I had to go in. I had to take it. And now, you know, with a lot more training and, and skill finding with Rick Ramos, he's helped me to be a little bit more of a boxer, a little bit more tricky, sneaky. And, you know, those things are not, you know, recognized yet by by people that watch the fight and that's totally fine um, I would like to continue to fly under the radar and then surprise some people on May 11th. Did you take a lot from your fights with Chantel Cameron and Sandy Ryan? Oh I take something from every single fight and, and sometimes it's subconscious you just go home and you, you box a little different you hit the bag a little different um, if you fight a world-class fighter you're gonna take something home with you. Was the Sandy Ryan rematch ever discussed for next? Uh, that has been in discussion with Sandy and Rick, Rick, my manager, and it's just conversation that we've had, make that understanding that we're both um, interested in it, and I know she's got things going on, and she's with a different promotion company than I am, so um, I have to see what Boxer is looking to do next. We could work together on something else. I'm completely independent right now, but um, everything's been so nice. I, I wouldn't mind working with them again. But definitely open to making that rematch in the future with Sandy. Yeah, that could be a conversation for sure. Just last one then, um, what's going to happen on May 11th when you step in the ring with Lauren Price? I think a lot of people are going to be shocked and a lot of people are going to assume something and, and get a, a very rude awakening and I'm going to take my belt home with me. Well, Jessica, thank you very much for being to IFL TV and best of luck for when you return to Cardiff. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.